This new trending add-on is making everybody's water renders look more realistic and way more beautiful. That's Real Water 1.1. I've been using this for a couple of weeks and people have been loving my renders with it. There's a few effects that really sell this for me. Number one is the beautiful dispersion that you can see kind of breaking up what would be a rather traditional looking water shader. When we control these sliders for dispersion, you can see what I'm talking about. That alone is really cool. What you can also do, and this is the other thing that I love, is control the base sediment which if we take a look from the side and dip down the sediment range you can kind of see what's going on here so if you can imagine waves spitting up a bunch of sand kind of what it looks like here and you can even change the color of everything as well of course the one other thing which is the cherry on top and people have been asking me a ton about is the foam effect and i absolutely love this so if you can check this out i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to add a new object uh let's let's go with suzanne why not suzanne where'd you go we want to make sure that it, it looks like she's actually impacting the water so how do we do that we just click on the water open up our menu here and add foam increase that range just a little bit and the beautiful thing is not only do we have foam around suzanne but if we duplicate her let's say and move her we have more foam over here and every object that we add every object that's in contact with this water will have a foam effect around it and you can increase the strength of this as well so if you're not seeing it very well which does happen a lot it really depends on the lighting of your scene you can increase the strength and the emission and it's moving seamlessly with it that's the beauty of this add-on. Now there's a few extra features about this add-on that are worth noting. When you first go to add your water, there's this drop-down menu which has collections of different sorts of water presets. There's real water for cycles, which is the one we just checked out. There's the blue tears effect, the real water for EV. So that's an EV based preset, which will make sure everything's compatible for EV instead of cycles. And then you have underwater. Now I haven't used all of these too much. If we go ahead and we look at the blue tears effect, this I think is pretty cool. It's kind of just a more stylized, maybe artistic, sci-fi looking th sort of thing. Or maybe if you like some like late night ocean renders with bioluminescence, maybe that's something you're looking for. And you can change the colors, of course. So it doesn't just have to be blue. Uh, it can be any sort of color you want, but I imagine they went with the blue and green because it's kind of more uh, lifelike, bio-like. All right, let's import this underwater one. And you can see, um, I'm pretty sure this one is affected more based on your lighting, of course, because you're, you're playing with volume here. And so the lighting really does matter. If you want sort of those underwater streaks or those light rays, I'm sure there's um, some things that you're gonna have to adjust. Oh. Look here, the recommended illuminations of the sunlight is a strength of 25. Interesting. So if we, add, let's let's go ahead and test that out. <laughs> let's go to shader editor, go to world, uncheck this, make sure our world is on. And let's add a sunlight and we're just going to shine it straight down and we're going to go 25. Oh yeah, there we go. That's really cool. Yeah, so something I haven't tried yet. And then you can go. This is my live reaction to this. You can see what it's doing from the outside. And when we take a look inside, it gives you this really neat effect. What do these do? Oh, so it's like the scale of those light rays. We can change the color, of course, maybe a darker, more murky, uh, warm water. And then, of course, we have the last one, which I didn't talk about, which was the Eevee. So I don't use Eevee a ton, and there's like a bunch of different settings that you have to change to make sure Eevee looks more realistic. This is one of those things where I just haven't played around with this enough to say how good this is or not, but it's definitely worth experimenting. And if it's even half as good as the cycles one is, I'd say it's worth a shot. And this add-on is actively being updated and developed and improved upon. So if you run into any issues, I'd say just reach out to the creator of Blender Market. It is only $3.75 right now. And if you miss this sale, it'll be an outrageous $5. So you're probably gonna wanna cop that right now. Cop that shit, homie! I'm Jordan Needham, this has been JHAM3D and I hope you enjoy this add-on.